Today we will be testing my brand new 1635F4LIS that was just released within the past month to month and a half against the in its own right legendary Canon 24-70 F2.8L version 1. As many of you know the version 2 is supposedly one of the sharpest zoom lenses out there along with the 70-200 2.8 version 2 but with the 16 to 35's brand new optical formula maybe it would be a good comparison against the 2.82 of the 24 to 70 line however i have version 1 but it is like i said in its own right a pretty darn good lens so right here we have the 24 to 70 at f4 and the 16 to 35 at f4 and if we go into the top left corner, you can tell it's really kind of mushy on the 24 to 70 side and a little bit on the 16 to 35, but it's a lot better. If we switch over to the 24 to 70s at 2.8, it really looks quite mushy. If we bring it up to the 35 millimeter zoom range for both then you'll kind of start to see a little bit of a difference here. You've got f4 for both, still a little mushy, but over here it's still pretty good. So, it's still a lot of vignetting, um, but as you know, the 24 to 70 does not even go to 16, so it's going to be kind of hard to compare these two. However, it's still quite noticeable that it's very clean in the corners up here. Over here, because it's closer, it's not as much, but you got to admit, it's pretty good. And for somebody like me who enjoys taking pictures of stars, the coma effect in the 17 to 40 wasn't really good for me, and the 16 to 35 2.8 doesn't really have very good corners either. So the 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 value of this one is in between the prices of the other two however I believe the corners just make it that much better than both of them and the IS is another obvious statement if you need that for video work but for me I just need it to look good and I believe it does so there we go Lightroom 5.6 does have the 16-35 f4L from Canon in its lens profile corrections and I gotta say it does do a pretty nice job. My shot here on this lovely brick wall wasn't exactly spot on in its alignment but you can tell that it does it does help it a lot and it does get rid of the vignetting that occurs in the corners here we go at uh, 24 millimeters and it's it's doing a pretty good job keeping the lines in check at uh, 35 millimeters you can see it, it's a little bit bowed still but overall I would say it, it does a pretty good job the vignetting is completely gone on all three of these images which is useful it means it's not too too bad for it to, to get stuck in the image and you gotta to work on it even harder so there you have it there's my short not too scientific review of the Canon 16 to 35 f4 L that is brand new I hope it helped you a little bit I know for me I had to take a gamble and hope it worked but I am very happy about it right now and I'm pretty sure it'll do exactly what I want it to so thank you very much for watching bye